going. It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> we know you, Jake. <laughs> Take two. Lexington's undisputed number one for hip hop and RB is small 79 to beat is Swale's Bag of Money, where Rick Ross, first and only from the beat. It's Jay, stick around on this pre 4th of July. Heart of a champion when bad blood flows from old wounds. I saw the trailer from this on my Facebook page. Then this Connie Rayford from Powell put out. It is a fantastic movie. How you doing? I'm doing fine, Jay. Give us a, 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 a glimpse of Heart of a Champion, and we've got the producer on from Black Triad Entertainment. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine, man. Thanks for having me here. And hey, thanks for video. coming. This is this, the movie that I saw. It, it, it just touches deep from the trailer that I saw. Give us the uh, synopsis of this movie. Well, the if you have to boil it down to like an elevator pitch, Jay, mm -hmm. this film is about reestablishing a sense of community. Um, for people to understand that we are all interconnected. What affects you will eventually affect me in one way, shape, form, or another. And there's got to be a going back to, you know, when we knew each other, when we cared about each other, when, you know, we looked out for each other. Right. And we even looked out for each other's kids. Yeah. Back to the village mentality. That's what it is. You know, when I was growing up, if I did something, I would get beat in the street. I, and before I got home, my mom and dad would know about it, not get it again. But I yes, sir. It. Yes, sir. You know, and Pal is is already doing that in our communities. Um, the Police Athletic League is, uh, there is something significant there that I don't think a lot of people know about. You know, they oftentimes say that they are the country's best kept secret. Well, mm -hmm. it's about time to unveil it. That's Oh, the champion, tell us about this story. The story is about a young man who is very, very angry as a teenager, and that sounds familiar, right? Mm -hmm. And um, but somebody recognizes something in him, and they begin to try and mentor him. And of course, he resists in the beginning, but he's pulled into the police athletics league's boxing program, which is a an outlet mm -hmm. for that anger. But his mentor realizes in the beginning that the first thing he has to do, he has to contain that anger. Mm -hmm. And so this young man, in his, uh, in his quest to be bad, uh, whatever he hits, he breaks. He's a natural softball. Cappy uh, switches him to conventional style boxing so that, you know, the combinations now don't come second nature. He's a bit confused. But then he does one other thing that, you know, really helps to drive the lesson home. The combinations he teaches this young man, he, he, he links them to biblical scriptures. Mm -hmm. So here you have a young man that's in the happy is on the ring apron calling out passages of scripture, and he's quoting these scriptures, and the scriptures actually represent combinations. Wow. Now in the beginning, he thinks that it's random, mm -hmm. but as the story progresses and his life goes from better to worse, and then back again, mm -hmm. he gets the life lesson that these, these, these scriptures now make sense. They come together and he gets that life lesson. And um, sometimes it takes us going that distance to learn. Yeah, you have to hit bottom before you can bounce back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Part of the champion when bad blood flows from old wounds. This is based on a true story, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, based loosely on the, uh, the life of my brother. Uh, he was that kid, okay. very angry, challenged authority every time he got, you know, baited authority, and then calls me when I was in film school and tells me that he's now boxing in a program. And I'm like, okay, first of all, who would license you to box in any program? That's number one. And then he says, well, it's PAL's program. And I had to pause for a minute, Jay. I'm like, um, you do understand what PAL stands for, right? And he's like, yes, stupid. <laughs> I'm like, so you're boxing in a police athletic league program? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So this is something I had to see. But it helped him to turn his life around. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm really thankful that he found the program. This is slated to uh, for a limited release in 1900 theaters nationwide. And we're trying to raise some money to get some Is that correct? Correct. We um, actually uh, have a uh, campaign online at Indiegogo.com um, where we are utilizing that crowdfunding campaign uh, platform to finalize the production of this film. Now, let me just say something that 
you know, this film, um, it crosses state lines, it crosses uh, cultural barriers, it, caught, it crosses generational barriers, and that's why we're here in Lexington this morning. Um, there will be a group of boxers from this featured in this film, um, and that's what it's about. We want to create an opportunity for our youth, mm -hmm. that they can aspire for something greater than what is right now. And I can vouch for those kids. They are some great, great, they are my kids. Those, those guys are just great. And Connie and the guys does such wonderful jobs with yes, these kids. They do. I don't know how she does it, man. I, I you know, I'm trying, you can't even follow her on Twitter. Because <laughs> you can't, I don't think they can follow her in real life. I'm like, she's at the T-ball um, game and then she's at this event and then um, then it's the movies and I'm like, okay, wasn't she just here? You know, it's almost like, uh, what was that, where's Waldo? <laughs> she, she gets, I mean, she is busy, man, and she, that is a testament to, yes it is. you know, what PAL is about. So Lexington PAL is going to be in the film, so how can we help? What can we do? We, we need you to get involved um, both online, um, in, the, uh, in the campaign, on Facebook, spread the word. Because here's the thing, if this film goes viral even before it's released, the benefit is not just to those who produce it, but the benefit is to PAL because a portion of the proceeds will continually feed, feed that program for the life of the film. And I don't know how many people know anything about film, but film are perpetual. Yes. They live forever, yes. even after we're gone. And give us that website again, please. You can go to www.heartofachampionmovie.com and you can, uh, .net, I'm sorry, heartofachampionmovie.net and you can access every one of the links from there. That's heartofachampionmovie.net and you can access every link from right there. You can go to the campaign from there. Um, you can access our uh, trailer, the documentary. Everything is accessible through there. Connie, what's coming up for PAL here in Lexington? Oh, you know, we are always busy, Jay. Right now we have, uh, as mentioned, we have T-ball going on. We have, um, we have basketball. Actually, we're going to be traveling uh, also Washington, as you're familiar with. We'll be taking a group of kids uh, to Atlanta uh, next week for a basketball tournament. And I believe at the end of the month, we're going to be taking those same girls to a tournament in New Orleans. So uh, those kids are getting exposed and you know the opportunities we like to give young people uh, that makes a difference and are very tangible in their lives. We need to get involved with this film. I'll put the uh, trailer up on our Facebook page and the 107 IB Facebook page. Kyle, if you can go ahead and tag us up on that so you can take a look at the trailer for this. It is, if you sit back and just look at the trailer, it just grabs you. Well, thank you. It, it, it just grabs you. And we want to get involved www.heartofachampion.net Yes. We get on and see the trailer and donate. We're going to help him out. We're going to get this worldwide. That's, what, that's the motivation. Richard Fitzpatrick. He is the writer, producer, and the actor of Heart of the Champion. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Anytime. All right, stick around. More is coming out from the beat of Lexington. We are 107.9 The Beat.